Greetings! Today I've got a fun to uh, play with. It's a computer fun from an old uh, um, 80 power supply. Um, but uh, what I want to do is um, take it apart and um, have a look if have a look on what to do to, to make it spin the other way around. So as you can see right now this is powered up from a little winner's power supply and it's going uh, this sort of direction very slowly. Uh, it just about uh, starts turning about 3.7 volts so uh, yeah as you can see it's going this direction and the aim of the game is to take it up uh, take it apart it will be destructive but um, as long as I can salvage the motor uh, and make it spin the other way around that's uh, that's what I want to try over here so let's begin by um, taking off the plastic sticker actually let's begin by marking down uh, which way it rotates so it was going this way So we know whether we achieved what we wanted and under the sticker I can see already some sort of um, control circuitry and um, as you probably uh, know this um, the motor over here is a brushless DC motor so it's not uh, just a regular brushed motor where to reverse polarity uh, or you just apply the voltage backwards and it would um, it would do the trick. Um, it's slightly more complex with those. The brushless motors require a driver circuit circuitry to um, operate and um, in those fan motors the circuitry is uh, on the back over here as you can see. Right, so what I've discovered there is a little circlip uh, on the back of the shaft and this is how they are supposed to come apart so uh, not the, now that I know that it would have been handy before but uh, let's try to take that little sail clip of the shaft and that should I should be able to take the uh, take the rotor uh, off of the rest of the assembly now there of course there is a tool to take this apart but I'm just gonna use uh, the second best thing which is just two pointy screwdriver and screwdrivers and I'm going to pry this apart with excessive force which will probably get this destroyed in the process there we go so we've got uh, the circlip which is slightly over unbent plastic washer and another plastic washer which we'll put to the side I should add that this, uh, this video was inspired by another video from the post-apocalyptic inventor which I uh, often watch, um, they're quite nice videos, but um, yeah, what he did over there um, was he attempted to make, oh, there's another set of washers and rubbers and something um, he's attempted to make a quadcopter out of those and to do that uh, he will if you know in a quadcopter you have to have um, the rotors of two of the two of the rotors turning the other the other direction than the other two and um, what he did was uh, well the simplest thing um, just turned it upside down and I want to see what uh, what it takes to actually flip it over um, so this is the construction of the brushless DC motor while we are at it so we've got uh, the rotor uh, which contains a permanent magnet um, on its edge and this is this is not my my thing is not magnetic but yeah this one is there you go so um, that's that's magnet and over here. We've got uh, the four uh, four coils in here and the driver circuitry and um, Over here we've got a Hall effect sensor 
uh, which detects where, where whereabouts in the rotation um, the motor is. So there's lots of those little washers. Um, and another one, but we can leave this one in. And what else have we got on here? We've got uh, two transistors, what it looks like. They're marked Q1 and Q2, so safe to assume those are transistors. Um, a few capacitors, a few resistors, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So, the whole thing is set up in a funny way. Well, there's four coils, but there are three connections uh, for them. As you can see, this side hasn't got a connection at all, but over here, the wire goes through to this pin over here. On this one, the wire goes through to this pin over here. And on this one, the wire goes through to this pin over here. Yeah, there's three wires. So, what I think to, to make this spin the other way round... Or well, maybe there is not. Now I'm looking at this a little bit closer. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, you can see this one has got two wires coming through. There's one and two. And this one has got one and one wire. So, let me just make sure nothing else comes through to this. Um, Yeah, there's one wire on here, one wire on this leg, and two coming here. And you can see there's two different colors of um, enamel coated wire. There's uh, the darker red one and uh, orange one. Um, so, what I'm thinking of doing, uh, the logical thing to do over here, um, at least I think, um, would be to swap those those two pins where the legs are, where the wire, there's a single wire to swap them round uh, in places. So, uh, yeah, I think I could easily cut this truck over here and this one over here and then just simply uh, use a piece of wire to get them connected other way, uh, other way around and see what happens. So the pins that I need to break are this one and this one, those um, track connections I need to break and this should be easy with just a scrape of a knife across the PCB. Okay, that seems to, to be done. Now I have to connect this point, so this pin of the coil over to where this one was connected. So I'm just going to run a wire from here. I've got a nice uh, blob of solder over here. So I'll run it this way and attach it to this point which was tracing back over here. And this one I should be able just to bridge over with a blob of solder to here which where this one was connected. That should be straightforward. And there it is. So as I said uh, so exactly what I did, um, blob of solder over here, bridging those two, and a wire going from here, snaking around uh, to this pin. So now, what's left to do is put this back together. Yeah, this is not meant to be functional, it's just basically just a test uh, whether that would work. So, let's put uh, all the little rings around uh somehow okay that is rotating so now this the little plastic thing and now the circlip which 
I have most definitely destroyed, but nothing that can't be fixed. Okay, it's on, it's holding the motor and it's spinning. So uh, let's uh, let's give it a test. Okay, that should work. So I'm holding this in the vise. And as you remember, this was the, as marked over here, this was the rotation of the of the fan prior to this modification. So let's see if it turns at all. Or in fact, whether it will turn the other direction. Uh, it's at the 3.75 volts, it's a 12 volt fan, but if we just give it a few volts, let's maybe give it a few more extra. A success! There we go. Uh, it's a little bit stiff, but I'm also keeping it at a very low voltage, so. Yeah, with a higher voltage it will start by itself. Uh, there you go, this is how you reverse the rotation of the uh, brushless DC motor from a computer fan. Uh, okay, uh, that's, that means that quite easily you could, uh, you could use those for uh, to make a quadcopter and have those uh, neatly rotating the opposite direction if you needed to. There you go. Um, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this uh, little experiment. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more random stuff for the time being. Take care.